yay, yay, I finally get to film my why I got butt implants and why I removed them surgery. This is just a disclaimer if you don't like plastic surgery or you don't like me, this is a good time to exit. <laughs> and if you do wanna, if you do like plastic surgery or you're just intrigued in general, um, get yourself a snack girl or a drink because it's gonna be a little lengthy. So I got myself a little drink. Okay. So why, let's rewind to 2012. So why I got them in the first place um, was really, really stupid reasons. I'm gonna be as honest in this video as possible, so I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of judgment and hate. Um, I was fresh off liposuction, and it was my first liposuction procedure, and I mean, it was amazing. Like, lipos like usually go really bad, and this one was amazing, and I looked really, really good. And then the next best thing I could think of is wanting a little bubble butt. <laughs> and you you can't get a Brazilian butt lift if you just have liposuction. And I was like 10 pounds skinnier at the time um, because I had no fat to graft. You need like fat from your abdomen and your flanks. And that's where I got the, the, the lipo from. So um, I went for a consultation for a buttock implant and the doctor did tell me all the complications. So I was aware of all the complications. I will, um, you know, vouch for that. He did tell me all the complications, the infection, the risk for like, you know, prolonged recovery. Um, just a list, the list goes on and on and on. I can't really think of it right at this moment. Um, but I, I was aware that there was a lot of complication rate and a lot of um, people remove them. So I, you know, when you want something so bad and I, like no one could tell me anything at that point. I had two boob jobs. I had a lipo that, and all of them went off without a hitch. Like, I mean, other than just pain, there was just no complications. And then the um, results were fabulous. So I was just like, oh, this is gonna be easy, fabulous, whatever. I was just kind of naive at the time to plastic surgery and complications. Now I am not I'm <laughs> at all. So, I went in for the surgery. I did not tell my family because they are plastic shamers. Like, they just were always like, oh, what are you doing? Da, da, da. Like, you know, even with the boob jobs and whatever. I didn't even have lips, lashes, bra nothing at that point. And they were still like, why do you do this? Blah, 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 blah. So, anyways, I did not tell my So, how I dealt with it in 2012 was just not tell them. And so, my friend dropped me off at the surgery and dropped me back off at home. And I just recovered by myself, which was miserable. And 10 days later, I think you take out the, um, or eight, you take out the stitches. And as soon as I got home, I looked in the mirror and it's just boom, pop, 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 pop. Like all the stitches were just popping out. And I'm like, and like blood and like a little bit of pus was like squirting out. And I was like, oh God, this is not good at all. Um, this is what he's talking about, but I, I just really wanted, I was just like hoping and praying, being wishful thinking that it was just, you know, going to close up in two days and that's all it was. And when I go to the doctor the next day, they're just gonna be like, it's fine. You know, whatever that didn't happen. So I called the office in the morning cause this was like at 9 PM when I noticed, um, the stitches like popped open. I call the office in the morning and they're like, you need to come in today. I'm like, okay. So I went in that day and they were like hold on they got the doctor he looked at it and he's just like let's start with an IV today and, and maybe the OR this week and OR means operating room and I was just like w w wait, wait, wait huh and I just immediately just was hysterical and I'm not really a big crier or anything like that and I was literally hysterical and um I just like, I didn't want to deal with another surgery or anything. And even though this was, it was like my biggest fear, like not telling my family and then having complications, you know? So now it's double hard on me and just my mental state was just, you know, very like when you get surgery, you go through like a really big depression. It's, it's a known fact after surgery. Um, it's just, you get a little depressed because you're at home the whole time and you don't know how the results are going to be. So I was already in that stage. And then to, to to go through another surgery was just mind blowing. And but that time I really wasn't willing to just take them out because he did say that he's just like, well, in the OR we can just take them out, and problem solved. 
and I was just not willing to risk ten losing ten thousand dollars. That's how much it costs, and um, I really still wanted them. I was just like, okay, well, let's just try the surgery. So what he did was he took out the implants and through the same incision um, that was popped open, and he there's a pocket that they form just like a breast implant, and he washed out the what he said was he washed out the pocket, he washed um, and sterilized the implants. Um, and then put the same implants in. I had never heard of that, but I was still like, whatever, let's go for it. I'm just like that kind of person. Let's just go for it. So, um, he did that. The next, actually that, um, healing was a little bit better, but I still had to go every single day, um, to fight the infection to, for the IV treatments. Um, and I had a pore in my arm, like a cancer patient cause they couldn't, um, keep going in every single day, finding new veins for the, the IVs. So I had to have a pore in my arm, then it would go to my hand, then it would go to this arm, then it would go to this hand. I mean, and it, the ports hurt. I don't know if you've ever had a port, but I couldn't bend my arm and then I, it, that would bruise and then my hand would bruise. It was just such a nightmare and not only a financial strain because I had to pay for rides there and back through a medical concierge. Um, because I didn't even know about Uber then. I don't know why, but I had this medical concierge, but she did cut me a deal to like $25 a day um, to take me because she did feel so bad for me. But the after the second surgery, within a week, the incision started to reopen again. And I'm just like, oh, great. Um, he stitched it up right then and there in the room. Oh my God. Numbed it up, stitched it up. And it still just, to this day, has just really never healed, but I still had to go... Um, in every day for the IV treatments. Come like three months, I would say I was fully healed, like fully healed to what it would be, you know what I mean? Like where I could resume regular activities. And um, long story short, like any real activity, and I don't wanna be like too graphic, uh, <laughs> always hurt, like um, anytime somebody would smack your butt, or I would sit on it for a prolonged period of time, it would hurt. Like if I was going to get my hair done, I couldn't sit on it for more than like 30 minutes and I'd have to sit on a, a pillow. And, and I'm talking years later. And five years later, I finally broke down and I told my sister what happened. She was like, I knew something was up because I saw him one time. But every time I would go there, I would just wear baggy clothes because I live in Vegas and they live in Orange County. So I don't really, really go on the holidays and I would just wear like baggy pants or whatever. So they didn't ask me questions because that's what my family does. As soon as they go in, what's going on with your lips? What's going on with, the, you know? And um, so that's why I'm kind of used to the plastic shaming to, in all honesty. <laughs> um, so, and, I, and I've talked to him about it and my sister's like, plastic shaming is not a thing. You're making it up. And I'm like, well, maybe I'm making it up, but I don't care. It's still a thing to me. So I don't know if I did make it up, but it's a thing to me. So anyways, I did tell her about the um, butt implant thing and I, that I was thinking about removing them. And she's like, wow, that's, you know, a really good decision. But I still had nowhere to go. I still didn't know what to do. Um, so I looked at Real Self, and that's the best app if you are researching doctors in your area for plastic surgery because there's so many reviews and pictures. I found one person in Vegas that did remove butt implants, but there was no pictures, like I said in a previous video. Um, so I was still called the, the number the next day, booked a consultation, but they still didn't know what I was saying. Like, hi, I'm, uh, I want to remove butt implants. They're like, huh, wait, what? Uh, we don't do butt implants because no one does butt implants. I mean, very few doctors do butt implants. And I'm like, no, I don't do butt implants. I don't want them. Um, I saw on Real Stuff that your doctor um, did removals. So I want to like look into that, but there was no pictures on the website. And she's like, um, let me get back to you. She was really, really nice. And she called me the very next day and she said, yeah, I talked to the doctor and he said, he'll look at you and he, he's willing to, you know, do a consultation with you. Could you come this week? And so I went that week. And the problem with them is that they looked so good. So as soon as he was doing an exam, he's just like, mm, it looks great, girl. Like, what are you talking about? And I'm just like, I know, but the pain and look at the incision. And, and even um, five years later, if you wore thong underwear, like maybe three days in a row, the very top of it would start to open again and like scab almost. And I was just like, look, I mean, I just want my life back. Like, I just... I can't sit, I can't, you know, anytime somebody smacks it, it hurts. Like I was just going through all my complications. Like, 
I mean, yeah, I'll remove them, you know, if that's what you want. And it was $5,000, so $10,000 to put it in, $5,000 to take it out. So now I'm at $15,000 for an ass that I'm still not happy about. <laughs> well, I'm still not finished with it, I should say. Um, so I went along with the surgery. My sister flew out and the very night before, like at 9 p.m., and then the surgery was the next day. I think I'd be there at 6 a.m., so we were really tired going there and the only thing I kept saying was please just keep the implants because like I want at that point I did want to film a YouTube on it because there is no YouTube on removing butt implants. There's only, you know, BBLs and stuff like that or people who have implants and like, you know, do funny things with them or whatever. But there was no like actual this is me removing them and this is the process. So I did want to film that but but my fear of all the plastic shamers and all that still was in and I was just like I don't know if I want to reveal that and I, a lot of people still at that point didn't even know I had butt implants so I was just kind of scared but I knew I wanted to keep them for some reason and um after the surgery I my sister comes in and I'm like okay where are the butt implants she's like and like starts smiling I'm like what she's like I completely forgot and I'm like that was the one thing I asked you. Like I paid for her flight to come out here and everything. Cause I mean, it is a pain in the ass to take me literally a pain in the ass. Um, take me. And that was like the one request I had, but she forgot him. So, the, so the next day, um, you, every time you do surgery, the very next day they do a checkup. So we went in and I'm like, um, I really wanted the butt implants. He's like, I have them. And he had them in like a plastic, um, vacuum seal medical bag. I was like, Yes, I was like literally that was the only thing I wanted. I don't know why I was just like I really wanted them for like to show my grandkids one day grandma was cool She had butt implants like look at these um, When that was a thing back then So I really wanted them and um, I finally got them. So my sister left and I healed and whatever um, Still to this day the scar is a little weird and my butt is a little saggy I would say but overall I mean I'm so surprised of how my butt snapped back and I just kept thinking about um like pregnant women your your stomach expands and then it goes back so I was just really really scared that I'm just gonna have this saggy butt but that didn't really happen and I mean, I still could use probably some lifting of my butt or um, a BBL, but overall it looks so much, you know, better than what I envisioned it looking like. Um, and I just, I'm not taking, telling people don't get butt implants because it looks great on a lot of people. I'm just telling my story on how it went and that's it so um leave your comments below or if i you have any more questions i didn't answer please leave them and i might do another video or um whatever i just i don't know if there's any, if i answered everyone's questions so that's it until next time here are my little button plants bye